So, what type of IBEs do exist? And they can come in a lot of different flavors, depending on who's providing them and what you're trying to, to achieve. Okay? Sometimes you have large equipment manufacturers, like a Rockwell Automation, for instance. They're going to be focused on their components, like the automation level, the control. Then you may have companies like Eaton, who focuses from a, a strictly a power standpoint, you know, coordination studies, power studies, uh, arc flash analysis, things like that. And those vendors can sometimes, those, those types of services, they can be expensive. You could be looking thousands, up fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000, depending on what that IBE is and how long it takes. Then you have other vendors and service providers who do more specialized niche type stuff, okay? So IBEs, you know, when you're looking at um, a specific group of, of, of targeted equipment in your plant, that's going to determine who you work with. So you could be focusing on areas like the storeroom. Maybe you want to focus on electrical control panels and things like the enclosures. Maybe you just want to strictly, all I want to know is what MCCs do I have in my plant? That's a great IBE right there. Or you may have a more power focus and even network assessments, that's a great IBE that not many people understand right now the state of their industrial network, but it's a great place to jump on. So where do you start if you, if you want to get this going? Well, first of all, just pick an area that you can actually get access to. It's not going to impact your production, right? That also is going to make an impact on your business. You, know, you want to find some, a, a little niche area that really is going to give you some benefit there, okay? and then start small. So the old saying, think big, act small, start small with your IBEs. You don't need to do an IBE of everything you own in the plant from soup to nuts. It's going to just drive you crazy. So start in a subset that you feel good about and just really dive into that. And then try to start figuring it out from there. You'll, you'll see where you need to go next. So, you know, and maybe if you have the, the network type issues, just jump on your network assessment. That's a very easy place to start, and that taps into a lot of different things. So take action. Start opening up your objectives. Let, let people know what you're trying to achieve, uh, and really focus on how an IBE can help you achieve your results.